In this video, I will talk about how to generate Q4 module definition, which is used in Q4 module as a Terraform module definition. We will see it. So at first, we need to install the Q4 CLI. Q4 CLI provides a couple of commands for your convenience to talk to Q4 resources. So for installing the Qform CLI, you can use this commands. And for the installation details, you can get to this our official Qform uh, website and see the installation details how to install Qform CLI. So Qform module supports both public and private Git repositories to refer as a Terraform module definition. So you can uh give your public or even private repository during the generation of q4 module definition we will see the both commands how to generate public uh from public git repositories and also from private repositories here this is for public repository so you can see the command qctl kf then gen module this is the command for generating the q4 module definitions then you have to give the uh q4 module definition object name then you can pass a couple of parameters or a couple of flags, which are like directory. Directory is the path where or the directory where you want to store the QFM module definition uh, YML that is generated by QFM CLI and also the uh, secret if uh, it is private repository. And then you have to give the source, which is basically to refer the your Q4 module configurations. You can refer it from your Git repositories or from your uh, public or private, both Git repositories. Here, for a, you can refer it for public repository as a source. Then you have to give the provider name, which is the specific provider. Uh, it can be AWS, um, Google, it can be other cloud providers, which Q4 supports currently. And then provider source, this is the required provider source for that specific provider. And then there is the, another flag that is called apply, which is by default false. You can give it true or false, like to apply the, whether you want to apply the generated module definitions or not. If you give it true, then after generating the module definitions, the key from CLA also will apply it. And if it falls, then it won't apply. It will be only generated. And then in later, you can see it and apply it. So this is for public repository. This is the command you can use for generating any QFM module definition for, from any Terraform module uh, for a, your public repository. This is for private repository, which is exactly same as the public repository. Just a couple of fields are different, which is uh, the token secret namespace and kube config. So token basically you get a personal access token like uh, for accessing your private repository and secret namespace is uh, when you give this conf uh, this uh, when you apply this uh, command then q from CLA will uh, generate a kubernetes secret where it will store the token that is your personal access token uh, and then you have to you can give the secret namespace that which namespace that secret will be either it can be the default value is default namespace and you can change it then the third one is the kube config that is uh, different from the public repository uh, it is optional you can provide your absolute path to the kube config file and the rest of the flags are as same as the public repository so this is the commands that you can use for generating public and from public and private git repositories uh, where your Terraform module uh, definition is stored by QFORM CLI. This QFORM module definitions, which we generate, will be uh, referred as a module def, uh, which we have seen in our previous video in the module object. So let's see how to generate it from QFORM CLI. So this is the command that I want to generate a, a module definition named module def public, and the director have given this directory. And the source uh, I have given, this is the Terraform AWS S3 bucket. And this is the Terraform AWS module source, which is the GitHub repository. And also I provide the provider name flag that is AWS and provider source that is HashiCorp slash AWS. 
So now if I, I have already installed the queue from CLI in my machine. So if I apply this command, it will generate a queue from module definitions named queue from dev public in this directory. So here currently there is no queue from dev public uh, YML or module uh, queue from module definitions. So let's apply it and see what it uh, brings. Yeah, you can see module dev public one uh, manifest has been created. If you click on it, you can see the details. Here I have shown you in our previous videos that what how looks like a module dev uh, when we generate from uh, Q from CLI. So this is basically the same thing. In the module dev ref, it is referencing the GitHub repository, which is we have provided in this source. And also in the provider, it is storing the name and source of that provider, which also we have provider provided. And in the schema, this is basically the schema or uh, the for the Terraform module. In in a, here, two fields are there. One is input, another one is output. In the input, it is basically the input variables that we are allowed to provide in that Terraform module. So all the Input variables are stored in this input section and as also as their description and type. And in the output section, all the output variables that has uh, been added in that Terraform module are stored here. It is generated from Terraform module definitions. So it's basically for the validation purpose, uh, what we provide in for module object to validate whether it's uh, like uh, the allowed values we have provided or not. So this is how we generate Terraform. Uh, we generate Q for module definitions from a Terraform module definitions. Uh, the Q for module definition is basically used as a Terraform module definitions in Q from module objects. So we will see that in our next video, which is basically the hands-on demo uh, of Q for module. Thank you.